DaVinci Resolve 20.1 added the ability to record 32-bit float audio recorded files directly to the timeline, even using the new voiceover tool. I am able to take this down and I still have all of that detail there, but there's some setup steps that are involved in doing this to get it all configured. I'm gonna show you today using my Sound Devices Mix Pre-6 Mark II, which is really a field recorder. I know it's super niche, but let's get started. Step one is gonna to be to actually make sure you're using this as an audio interface. And I do suggest get a good Thunderbolt or USB-C cable and plug directly into your computer. And the reason I say that is because I tested this with it going through a, a, a really good Thunderbolt hub and I got artifacts when recording with 32-bit float. So plug directly in. Now the next thing I'm gonna point you to, this little three dot menu that's on the Mix Pre 6, click this and then we'll get to our, you know, we got three pages of menu items. Go to the third page of menu items and on there we can go to our system. Make sure you're set to USB-C, set to audio, not to power only, in case you were using it that way previously. USB audio set to normal. And then I wanna make sure this is set for 32-bit float on the device itself as well. So what I'm gonna do, go back to my home menu, hamburger menu again. Actually, it's the second page that we wanna be looking at. The second page has the record button that's on here. I'll click the record button. Now on the second page of the record menu, I know it's lots of menus, right? Second page of record, make sure your bit depth is set there to 32 float. So once you have all of those set, we should be able to take a look at the computer. And I'm using a Mac. I can't show you on Windows, unfortunately, how we set this on the Mac. So on the Mac, I'm going to first look at my system settings for audio. So look for sound is what they call that now. Make sure you've got an input set to whatever your 32-bit float interface or microphone is, and you see levels coming in here. Because if you can't see them here, Resolve is obviously not going to be able to see them. Then output I have set there as well to Mix Pre 6. Lots of different configurations I've worked with. Um, but there is another application on a Mac that you need to configure for 32-bit float, and that's the audio MIDI settings. So I'm going to open that up. Audio MIDI setup is the application. On your device here or your microphone, choose it, select it, make sure it's blue, and your input on this input section here, make sure you change this to 32-bit float. Uh, it's probably set to integer as a default because that's what most applications use and expect. But 32-bit float gives you the ability to recover anytime you thought you might have clipped it because it records with huge dynamic range because there's multiple ADD converters or preamps. But the main thing to see here with the Mix Pre 6, you can actually use all eight channels coming in if you use the Fairlight page but not on the edit page is what I discovered. So let's look at resolve next. So we've got input is set to 32-bit float. Output is what you're hearing. So I'm just listening to 24-bit integer with my Bear Dynamic headphones. Now in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna look at a couple things. The first thing we'll look at is our preferences for our audio and IO devices. So preferences, video, audio, IO system, video right here. So input device, you could just say system settings, but I like to be a little bit explicit on what I'm choosing as my input. So I chose Mix Pre 6.2, that's my 32-bit float. System settings, basically this here, when it says system settings, it's looking back to here. So those two are working together. Hit save there, and the last piece of the puzzle to make sure you're recording 32-bit float audio is a project setting. So gear cog, however you want to get there, shift nine, Come down to Fairlight. There's a new checkbox here that says use 32-bit float recording. So it's basically make sure you have uh, your device in here, make sure your audio MIDI settings are set to 32-bit float and check that box. Now what you can do straight here on the edit page, select the new little microphone button. That's gonna give you the ability to start recording. Give it a name if you want, give it a assigned track, make sure your input is still correct, which it should be. Um, and then you can start recording directly to your timeline. Couple of things I discovered that are probably not documented yet is if you take a look here, you have an option for stereo input. What stereo input means is it would take channels one and two off of a device like the Mix Pre 6. If you don't choose that, it just takes channel one. But if you want all channels like one through eight, Basically, you need to go to the Fairlight page to do that. Uh, the other thing to know before I start recording is I like to pre-select the bin that I dump my audio files into. So let's just organize as I go. And I'll show you the magic of this by cranking this level at a level that is not appropriate, but it could accidentally be sent. And that would be to for me to click in here on my sound devices and I'll turn up my gain is set to 40 decibels now, but I'm rolling it all the way to the max of 76 decibels 
you can clearly see I'm, I'm really, really clipping on this device here. And if I hit record, three, two, one, here we go. This is an example of what 32-bit float recovery can be like if it's accidentally sent too loud. Obviously, this is an exaggerated example. I'm gonna hit spacebar to stop. Okay, now that I've done that, you can see, I'm gonna close this up. You might uh, turn your volume down just a little bit. I am able to take this down and I still have all of that detail there um, once it's brought down to a normal level and it should not sound distorted at all. Let's take a listen. This is an example of what 32-bit float recovery can be like if it's accidentally sent too loud. Obviously, this is an exaggerated example. I'm gonna hit spacebar to stop. Okay, not too bad. Uh, now, I will tell you, if you don't have a 32-bit float recorder, don't worry about it. Just make sure when you gain stage your levels here, as soon as you start hitting that yellow, which should be negative 18, maybe negative 20, that's as loud as you want to set it. So, my name is Chadwick. I appreciate you so much. And because there's so much more to learn, I'll see you in the next video.